A lot of people think that doing pro-life work basically means you have to donate to different pro-life organizations. And if you can donate to us, please do. But you don't have to have money in order to do pro-life work. Here's a whole list of things you can do even if you're broke. First of all, you can donate your time. There are a ton of ways you can do this specifically in terms of legislative reform. Spend time educating yourself and the people around you about an issue. Spend time raising public awareness. Contact your political representatives' offices and talk to them about where they stand on the issue and what you think about it. Organize other people to have a contact our representatives group and when issues come up in your state or local area, get together and have a letter writing or postcard writing party. If a representative does something you especially appreciate, send them a thank you note. If they do something you especially don't appreciate, organize a peaceful protest outside their office. Attend hearings to testify in support or opposition of specific legislation. But it's definitely not all about legislation. Help local pregnancy resource centers advertise in the community. One easy way to do this is to go to them and see if they have business cards, get a bunch of business cards and leave them around town. Post them on community bulletin boards, things like that. Create chalk art. Get a bunch of sidewalk chalk and you can go outside of an abortion clinic, sure, but you can also go outside of businesses, college campuses, any public sidewalk, and create pro-life art. You can include contact information to pregnancy resource centers or websites for your favorite pro-life organizations. There's lots of messaging options. Contact high schools in your area, ask to talk to their Title IX coordinators, and ask them what kind of programs they have in place for pregnant or parenting students. And if they don't have programs in place, ask them if you can help them develop some. For example, some places offer classes on infant care and job training and life skills. Some places offer tutoring options or online or flexible options for mothers who need to stay home with their babies. Some places have policies to support teen moms who are breastfeeding. Some places even offer on-site childcare. You could also contact pro-life organizations that you like and see if they need help with volunteers. Some people need help with transcribing content. Some people need help with translation. If you are bilingual, that could be extremely useful. Some people need help with back-end stuff like database management or IT issues. There's all kinds of things, especially for smaller organizations that don't have a huge staff. Contact them and ask what they need. And in particular, if you have some sort of specific skill set or knowledge of this specific area, let them know that and see if there's a way that you can apply that to help them. Take photographs at pro-life events. It is so important to make sure we have higher visibility for these things. If you take photographs at marches or conventions or speeches or whatever, and then contact the organizations that put those events on and say, here's my photos if you want to use them. Even better, create accounts with websites like Unsplash where the photos are available royalty-free and just make them available for anyone to use. And take time to educate yourself on the issue. Make sure you understand fetal development. Make sure you understand abortion laws in your state. Make sure you know the basics. You can subscribe to pro-life podcasts and listen to them on long commutes to work. We also have this reading list of secular pro-life perspectives if you want to get more in-depth. Everything I just mentioned and more ideas are listed on this website, howtobeprolife.com. Don't let money be an issue. There are tons of ways you can contribute.